two different types of suspension systems in my 91 Van Diemen and Tony's 92. We've picked both of these cars because they were made one year apart by Van Diemen and the only difference between the two of them is the front suspension. If you have a look at the back of the car, here's the trusty Kent motor along with the bell housing and the trusty four-speed dog box. Meanwhile, on my car, built 12 months later, the fuel tank and where you sit, all of the internal framework, the front roll bar, instrument cluster, steering column and steering wheel are all the same as Hunter's. Moving down to the front of the car, we find that everything's the same as Hunter's car as well. That includes the master cylinder setup, all of the brake and accelerator pedals, and the rest of the steering setup. The load comes through the push rod, into the bell crank, and then into the shock absorber, which is just like any other race car. Over on this side in the RF92, what we have is fundamentally the same chassis. What Van Diemen have done is they've chopped it off through the bulkhead and across the base, and they've rebuilt the top to include this shuttle. The shuttle takes load through push rods just like Hunter's cut, but in this case, both push rods come into the same shuttle. When the load is the same on both sides of the car, there's nothing to make the shovel move left or right. The only thing that it can do is pivot back and forward and then the load goes through the centre of this single shock absorber. The shock absorber is still operating like any other shock absorber in strength. When you turn into a corner in the braking area and you go bouncing over curbs and putting different loads in from side to side, then the shovel will start to move back and forward. The adjustment for that are through the springs on the side of the shuttle. You can change those springs and you can also back them up with bellville washers for some smaller, finer adjustment. Just like a normal road car, a Formula Ford has slow bars. The only difference is, is that it's connected to two bell cranks and that you can adjust the softness and stiffness of the bars, which affects the car's head. So one of the big questions is, which car is better? I guess it's up to the team to drive us to the But if you want to see a direct comparison, both of these cars will be going head to head at round two in the Queensland Formula 4 Championship. Make sure you pencil in the 30th of April and the 1st of May. Come out to Queensland Raceway at Ipswich. Have a look for yourself.